Yo people, welcome back to the Coach Chess Corner. So today we are discussing three games of the Premier League this weekend. But first I want to thank T Boys TV for coming on and he's gonna give his thoughts and predictions. But first let's get kick things off with Everton versus Manchester United. Manchester United looking like they're going to get the 6th place or 5th, but probably not top 4. And Everton are looking like they are getting relegated. With Everton losing 3-2 to Burnley, the team that sits back all day long, conceding 3 goals. So yeah. Frank Lampard is not a manager. I think we all can agree he's a pundit and not a manager. And you should stick to being a pundit and not being a manager. So, yeah. On the other hand, Manchester United looking like they are going to secure Eric Tenag as the next manager. But... Who knows? It's Manchester United. They are just PR all over the place. Yeah. My prediction is uh, one all, one all. Manchester United to draw off Everton away from home. So yeah, let's hear what um, T Boys TV has to say about this game. So people, hello, I'm Tyler from T-Boys TV. I've been invited onto the channel to talk about a few games, uh, Premier League games upcoming. So let's just get straight into it. So the first game I'm going to talk about, I'm going to do it individually, uh, so it's a bit better. There'll be a little bit of a cut and then the next one. Uh, but the first one I'm going to talk about is the first one out of the lot. Obviously, I've been asked to talk about Everton United, Chelsea uh, Southampton or Southampton Chelsea Chelsea shall I say and then uh, the big one this weekend Manchester City versus Liverpool so yeah start off with Everton United both teams not in good form at all uh, Everton it's possible they could go down um, and looking at their running a lot of people are saying they could rightly so um, another thing I think they have which is a disadvantage for them is Lampard as manager? He's just not got the man. He's not got the experience compared to all the other managers that are in that battle. Um, bar the Leeds one, actually, I'm not too sure if he does. But other than that, everyone else does. You know, Sean Dyche always finds a way to start with Burnley. Um, uh, Dean Smith, that's his name. You know, they all do. Bar the Leeds and and um, uh, Lampard. So. <laughs> It's a tough one. They're at home. They need to win a game uh, sooner rather than later. And I've got a mad feeling they're going to do it. Obviously, me being a Liverpool fan as well as Luton, Liverpool, I don't want them to. Um, so it would be quite funny seeing them go down. Um, but yeah, I, I've I actually got a feeling they'll, they'll win this game. I think the home crowd's going to really help them out. And from what I can think of, I might be like proper wrong. But I'm pretty sure they don't travel well, um, United, at Goodison Park uh, in recent years. I'm not 100% sure. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that might be a thing. But anyway, yeah, I'm going with a 2-1 to Everton. So, yeah, that is my prediction for that game. So, next game is Chelsea versus Southampton. Who's going to win? That's a big question. Southampton, mid-table, not really... Um, afraid for Chelsea but they are high tempo pressing is their game and everything and Chelsea just coming off two heavy defeats and, and I will give my thoughts on the Champions League game um, next week when I make my predictions for the second leg when I will give my thoughts on what happened in the first leg but it was too devastating defeat. So, yeah. But with Thomas Tuchel after the Real Madrid game coming out and calling out his players, saying, I have done everything, the tactics 
has been the same. So it's only the player's fault, basically. And I think it's good because every time he is just like uh, it, it it is just like it's just like um, it's my fault. And I think he's he's tired of carrying the their baggage and stuff. But I want to give a, a shout out to to my man Kai Havertz, the best striker in the world. I still believe he is because if Kai Havertz was in that Real Madrid team with Benzema, imagine that that team, Kai Havertz and Benzema. So I think that that would be a great partnership. So I still believe he's one of, if not the best. So I will put him top three easily because who else? You're gonna put him back in. He hasn't proven it in the Premier League or even in the Bundesliga. His scoring goals in the French League. Wow. Great. So, yeah. But my prediction is Chelsea gonna draw 1 1. I'm really not confident about this game. Even though Broja is not playing against us, I'm glad for that, but. You know. Moving on to the next game. Now, we'll do it in order of the games, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, Southampton versus Chelsea. Now, we'll start off with the home team, Southampton. Ever since people bigged up their home record, I don't think they've overly been great. It was the when they had the 13 game unbeaten run when it came to an end. I think it's 13 games. It's a massive run at home. It came to an end against Newcastle. Um, Newcastle, good side, don't get me wrong. Eddie Howe, for me, is one of the... Managers up there for manager of the season shout, along with Vieira um, and the Wolves manager. I think he deserves a lot of credit as well. But yeah, like talk about Southampton, I don't think they've overly been great. Looking at it, I thought they got a good point at Ellen Road. Probably deserved to be a draw, if I'm being honest. Uh, looking at it on paper, despite Southampton being in better form than Leeds, you'd have probably back Leeds because they need to, to needed to win the game soon. And, you know, they're at home, that sort of thing. But, yeah. Um, so, there you go. There's that. Um, they haven't been overly great for me. But then again, moving on to Chelsea. Boy, oh boy. Two heavy defeats in a row. Uh, Brentford, you know, Rudiger scored a cracking goal. And I felt sorry for him. You know, especially with what happened after that. Uh, then conceding four goals. Um, and that strike was brilliant by him. Tremendous. Um, and then Real Madrid, Benzema, showing why he's one of the best strikers in the world. For me, it's Lewandowski, then him. Um, but yeah, he's so underappreciated. Two great headers. The third goal, you know, he, he, you know, he, he came in his way. You know, he's not going to miss that. But the, the way he leaped up to the headers was exceptional. Chelsea need to bounce back. Obviously, Tuchel was not happy at all uh, in his post-match against Real Madrid. And I do think they will bounce back in this. I do, I do. Like I said, Southampton haven't been overly great. Neither have Chelsea. But I think the quality in Chelsea's team shines through. And they have a good record uh, in the last 10 games uh, at St Mary's. So, yeah, I'm going with a 2-1 Chelsea. So, another 2-1 prediction. So, yeah. Now we're on to the big match. The title decider. Like that. Manchester City versus Liverpool. Manchester City coming off a tough one because they really needed to fight for that because Atleti played a 5-5-0 up front. So yeah, it was a real, really tight uh, match. But City came up front. That just shows what they can bring. They can and break down a low block. They can score when the team is open. They can do everything. Liverpool, on the other hand, went on and beat and Benfica so easily. It was so easy. 3-1. In the, by the 30th, 35th minute, it was 2-0. So, yeah. But... It's a Premier League. Anything can happen. 
Never push away from to the ATL is not great. They haven't won this since club took over. So, pay per side club's number at the ATL. Otherwise, you can say no, but at the ATL, he has had his number. But the, for me, Liverpool is just on that form. Business end of the season. Last season, they did it also. Clinching third place. So, yeah. Liverpool are just rolling. Yes. Business end of the season is where club says, OK, boys, we have had a good off-season. Now it's time to get to business. And you just hit the button. They're all like, yes, come on. But the worrying thing for Liverpool is that Mo Salah hasn't scored in his past few games, while City has abundance of attack. So, yeah. So, yeah, that my prediction is, although it's at the Etihad, I believe Liverpool will win 1-0. One 1-0. One They're going to keep a clean sheet. That's my prediction. And now, let's hear from the one and only T-Boys TV. What is his prediction for Liverpool versus Manchester City? The now the big one. One of my teams are playing in this. It's Manchester City taking on Liverpool. And it could be a title decider. It really could. Um, if City win this, they extend their lead above us uh, to four points, I believe it is. If we win, we go above them by two points, if I'm correct. And then if it's a draw, they stay a point above us. So, yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be a really good game. Um, I don't want to jinx it, but Liverpool-Man City... They both play attacking football as well, so it's not going to be a sit-back by any team. Um, I believe the last time Liverpool went to the Etihad and won was the Champions League. I don't think we've done it in the league for a while. Obviously, that Champions League was 2018, I believe, when Ox scored that banger. Uh, when we went to the final and unfortunately lost. Um, but yeah, this game is going to be mental. It is going to be mental. I'm doing a watch long to it on my channel. And I think Pep's on ropes at this moment in time. Not not with his manager, like his job or anything, but the way he's been talking about Liverpool, we're in the back of his head. You know, obviously us beating Watford put us in the uh, top of the league for a few hours and, you know, City have been top of the league most of the season. So, you know, there's that. Uh, City got a very good win, uh, obviously, in their last game out to Atletico Madrid, um, especially the way Atletico Madrid played. <laughs> First time I've ever seen a 5-5-0 formation, do you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, like to get a goal, break him down, you know how Simeone can be. It can be very frustrating with the way he plays. But City got the job, well, not the job done. They got the first leg done. They took the lead. And obviously, I need to bring it back next week. Um, so they're on the back of a win, and Liverpool also on the back of a win, a very good victory uh, away from home in the first leg against Benfica. And if I'm being honest, I was very surprised with how easy it was. I did think it'd be a lot tougher. I thought it would be similar to Inter Milan in the first leg um, when Liverpool played them, got two late goals. But yeah, this game, yeah, my score prediction, I think it is going to be what it has been recently um, for Liverpool at the Etihad. And obviously when City have played us at their ground, a 1-1 one, one draw. Uh, well, it's not usually been a 1-1, one, one, but it's usually been a draw. Um, and I think it's going to be like that again. I do. I think it's going to be frustrating for Liverpool, as much as I hate to say that. I do think it will be. And yeah, it's going to be it's going to be one of them. But however, if someone do, does win, I do think it will be Liverpool. I think we're the more confident side right now. Um, as much as City are top of the league and that, that sort of thing, you know, like I said, Pep's talking about Liverpool in every single press conference he's doing at this moment in time. Do you know what I mean? And our attack, you know, is just different to their attack. It's just other places on the pitch that, you know, are just brilliant for them as well. Um, us bringing in Luis Diaz, it's just, 
like made our team even more mental when it comes to the squad depth. Um, and also, you know, bringing in um, the likes of, you know, just just Carvalho. I think that's going to be a bit of a boost as well. It's going to be good to see him and Harvey Elliott next season, potentially, um, you know, or, well, not starting, I don't think, uh, together. But, you know, to see him on the bench and you know, he could have a massive future here at Liverpool with Harvey Elliott. But... Yeah, I think it's going to be a 1-1 draw, like I said. I think it's going to be frustrating for both sides. Um, but yeah, like I said, if someone does go on to win, I do think it will be Liverpool. Um, so yeah, there you go. That is all the predictions um, that I was asked to do, my thoughts and all of that as well. So yeah, um, if you want to follow me across any of my... so um, Well, subscribe to my channel first. That'd be much appreciated. T-Boys uh, TV. I also have another channel as well, T-Boys TV Extra. If you could turn the notification bell on for them, that would be much appreciated. Make sure you subscribe here first. And um, yeah, if you're not following me across any of my social medias, they are in the description of my last video um, or, or stream, whatever. The last thing, you'll see it. You know what I mean? So yeah, but thank you for bringing me on. And um, yeah, there you go. That is everything I was asked if I could do. Done for you lot. So yeah, as I said, make sure you subscribe here first and then subscribe to my channel. It'd be much appreciated. But yeah, until next time, guys, take care and peace. So yeah, that's all the predictions. I want to thank... Yeah, I just want to say thanks to T-Boys TV for doing these videos. I, I really appreciate it and I want to encourage you to first sub here to my channel then go over to his channel no I will put um the is link to his YouTube channel in it, the description so yeah but thank you very much for tuning in and I I see you later peace